Welcome to the Helicopter Simulator video series, How Helicopters Work. This video series will present step by step all aerodynamic concepts of helicopters and how a helicopter simulator will handle it. All the physics of helicopter simulator has been reworked and is now physically accurate. Let's start with the first topic, gyroscopic precession. Gyroscopic precession, also known as fast lag, is a phenomenon occurring in a rolling body. All force employed at point of the rotor disc will manifest roughly 90 degrees later in a direction of the rotation. Offset is never exactly 90 degrees and can vary on every helicopter. For instance, our R22 has an offset of 72 degrees. That's why we should talk of first lag instead of gyroscopic precession. But let's simplify things and use the common gyroscopic precision case of 90 degrees. In our R22 helicopter, we have two rotors. Both are subject to gyroscopic precession. Since our main rotor has a swash plate, the payload can amplify forces to the rotor disc. Let's focus on the main rotor. If we try to increase the lift produced by the blade here, the result will occur 90 degrees later. As our rotor system is counterclockwise, this means here. The blade will be flapping up because the lift was increased. We will talk about blade flapping in a later video. Because of the swash plate, the opposite will happen here. This means decreasing lift and a result will be 90 degrees later with the blade flapping down. Let's see how it works in helicopter simulator. We get the intended behavior and we notice that the rotor disc will tilt to the right, which means a roll to the right. In helicopter simulator, the tilt of the rotor is calculated with the real forces occurring at the given time in the rotor disc. This means that pushing the cyclic in a direction won't instantly tilt the rotor in that direction, but it will change the angle of attack of the blade through the rotor disc, like in a real helicopter, and only after that, the sum of forces will tilt the rotor disc. So I can push the cyclic in a direction, if some external forces modify the angle of attack in a way I don't want, the rotor disc won't tilt as I expected to. This is a good feature that helicopter simulator had. Let's now try to tilt our rotor forward. We now know that increasing the lift in a half portion of the rotor disc will not produce the wanted result. We need instead to increase the lift 90 degrees before, this means the left portion of the rotor disc. The blade will be flapping up at the half portion of the rotor disc, which will tend to tilt the rotor forward. As before, the lift will decrease to the right portion of the rotor disc, causing a blade to be flapping down at the front portion of the rotor disc. Ok, we now get it right, but do we really want to think of it when flying? Actually no, gyroscopic precision is responsible for a lot of aerodynamics in helicopters. That's why we talk about it, and that's why helicopter simulator simulate it. Engineers already composted it by rigging the swashplane input with the 90 degrees offset, depending on the direction of the rotation. So you can fly every helicopter the same way. That concludes the topic of gyroscopic precession. Stay tuned for the next episode of How Helicopters Work, and thanks for watching.